Hello and welcome to another reading from the book Our High Calling, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled Love's Fragrant Outreach, August 13th. And the Lord make you to increase and abound in love one toward another and toward all men, even as we do toward you. 1 Thessalonians 3.12 God would have his children realize that in order to glorify him, their affection must be given to those who most need it. No selfishness in look, word, or deed is to be manifested when dealing with those of like precious faith. It will not in any way work for the good of souls or the glory of God. Our love is not to be sealed up for special ones to the neglect of others. Break the bottle and the fragrance will fill the house. Those who gather the sunshine of Christ's righteousness and do not let it shine forth into the lives of others will soon lose the sweet, bright rays of heavenly grace, selfishly reserved to be lavished only upon a few. Those who possess much affection are responsible to God to bestow this affection on all who need help. To love as Christ loved means to manifest unselfishness at all times in all places by kind words and pleasant looks. These cost those who give them nothing, but they leave behind a fragrance that surrounds the soul. Their effect can never be estimated. Not only are they a blessing to the receiver, but to the giver, for they react upon him. Genuine love is a precious attribute of heavenly origin, which increases in fragrance in proportion as it is dispensed to others. The souls of those who love Jesus will be surrounded with a pure, fragrant atmosphere. There are those who hide their soul hunger. These will be greatly helped by a tender word or a kind remembrance. The heavenly gifts, freely and richly bestowed by God, are in turn to be freely bestowed by us upon all who come within the sphere of our influence. Thus we reveal a love that is heaven-born and which will increase as it is freely used in blessing others. Thus we glorify God. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book, Our High Calling. God bless you.